masks protect you as an individual from getting COVID-19. And if you do get COVID-19, then you are likely to get asymptomatic or mild disease. If you get too much virus, and those are those healthcare workers and young people in New York, just people who just got too much virus, um, your immune system gets overwhelmed. It cannot fight it and it will go out of control and you will get very sick. So it's really not saying that by wearing a mask, you're gonna prevent yourself from getting it completely. But if you can get a very little dose in and get no symptoms, that's the best way you can ever get a virus is to not have symptoms. So the data currently show that 40% of people, and this is the CDC said this just this last Tuesday, um, are asymptomatic with SARS-CoV-2. But in settings, and that's really the literature that we try to put together, in settings where there's been universal masking, um, the proportion of asymptomatic disease seems much higher. In a cruise ship that they all masked, 81%. If you really look at how we model viruses, the more virus you get into your body, the more sick you get. And there was a human experiment with this that was done with a non-lethal virus, which is influenza A. And giving people influenza A, the more you gave, the more sick they'd get, and the little older you gave, the less sick they'd get. And then with this particular virus that we have going on now, SARS-CoV-2 that causes COVID-19, we can't do this in humans. We can't give them little doses and higher doses, but there was a hamster model um, with this very virus where they simulated masking for the hamsters. And those who were wearing masks, essentially, um, didn't get the virus often, meaning they didn't get sick at all, but if they did get sick, it was very mild. Universal masking in public would reduce the death rate as much as a lockdown would. I think if everyone started masking tomorrow, we would be rid, we would rid ourselves of this pandemic in six weeks.